Okay, for this demonstration, we're going to show an introduction to cascading style sheets, uh, or CSS. First, we're going to go ahead and open up Visual Studio and go to our demo folder in our Solution Explorer. Right-click, add a new item. We're going to create a simple web form, and we're going to name it CSS Demo. Doesn't matter if it's code behind or not, we're only going to be using simple style tags. Now we have two views. I'm actually, because of my limited real estate, I'm going to stay in our source view and I'll go to design view in a few minutes. I'm going to go through my HTML code and I'm going to look for my title tags and insert my cursor at the end of the title tag and hit enter. Now what we're going to do is actually use code snippets. Uh, again, it's a tool within Visual Studio to in, uh, actually basically help you with HTML and help you with uh, server-side script and JavaScript as well so that you know what the commands are. And we're going to simply create a less than and you'll see that our list pops up and we're going to go ahead and select style. And as soon as we see style, we can hit tab for space. And now you'll see your options or properties available for the style tab. And what we're going to do is look at type. As soon as we see the type highlighted, we can hit tab. And then we're going to do equal. And again, there's text CSS, which is our type. And we want to just go ahead and hit tab. And then close our tag, which will automatically add our closing style tag. Go ahead and give us a little bit of space. Now once you get your style tag written, we're going to add some additional styles. First style we're going to add is a heading style. Simply type H1 and then go ahead and create your brackets. Ah. You type your styles actually. Close our tag. Then we're going to add the next tag, which is a paragraph tag. So anything inside of the paragraph HTML tags will actually add this style. You close that tag. Again, we'll go through these in just one second. Next, we're going to create a class. Any tag that actually includes this class called right aligned will carry these styles with it. Open again. Okay, let's look at these real quick. Again, heading. Anytime there's an H1 tag, font size is going to be 20 pixels, followed by the color green. Anything within a paragraph tag will be blue and italic. And anything that includes the class dot right aligned, actually the class right aligned, will include right aligned text styles. Now to demonstrate this, what we're going to do is create each one of these three items. So let's go ahead and scroll down and find our div tag and put our cursor in the middle of the div tags. And let's go ahead and create our H1 tag and type some text. So our heading tag, next we're gonna do our paragraph tag. And then finally, we're going to add another paragraph tag. This time, we're going to actually add our class right aligned.
And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this in quotes, even though it didn't do it for me. And then we're going to go ahead and test. Now, first, I want you to go ahead and just click on the design mode. And you'll actually see our large font green header, our first paragraph with our blue italics, and then our second paragraph that included the right align class, which took the text, again, now blue and italic, but added the right aligned class. Let's go ahead and demonstrate it by clicking on the green arrow. Demo page. 